There's no doubt that serendipity was in play when Mike and Kelly Brees were working on the same shoot many years ago. They've been married for 18 years and each married for 18 years, and each runs a successful, dare I say, indispensable company. Here's their story. I started in 1983. I was 18 years old. Uh, got hired at Channel 4 as an intern, and I shot the scene at 6. In fact, weatherman Bill Hall called me Cool Breeze. In 1985, I started working at the Nashville Network, and it was a blast. I shot everything from Ralph Emery to Dale Earnhardt. I took a leap of faith in 1998, quit my full-time job, and I uh, started my camera crane company, Pro Jib Inc. So I got my start freelancing on TNN shows right out of college, and I got to work with some great people, including my mom, who happened to give me some advice. She said, don't ever marry someone that you work with or you meet in a bar. So, of course, we met working on a dance show in, in a, a bar. bar. The Wild Horse Saloon Dance Show. So in 1999, I took my leap of faith and married this guy and started Elite Script Teleprompting. Life seemed to pick up speed. Two amazing kids came along in hundreds and hundreds of TV shows. Yeah, some big moments. Some tense at times, like right after starting my company, getting a call from the Conan O'Brien show to go on location with them. Nothing like jumping in head first. Or nothing like getting a call at noon to be on a plane by four to fly to Cleveland to do the live Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductions. I said, nope. So I'm in Cleveland by 10 p.m. I worked 19 hours the next day on a show that I had never done before for a director I had never met. Definitely a moment. What were some of my biggest moments? Wow, I've got 35 years of them. Shooting Top Fuel Dragsters, my first night working the Academy Awards, 20 years of shooting the Grammy Awards, standing on the edge of the press box at Daytona International Speedway. It's 17 stories high. Did I tell you I'm scared of heights? A few times. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we've had a lot of cool moments, for sure. Indeed. Sometimes I wonder, did we really do all this stuff? Mm, yeah. But I wouldn't change a thing. Thank you so much. Um, first of all, God bless the Bellinger family. Um, I just want to say that I'm blown away by this honor. I'm just humbled beyond belief. Uh, thankful to the panel who considered us for this. I'm grateful to have just been a small part of the exciting industry that this is that we're that we're all involved with. First of all, I just want to thank the amazing team that I get to work with. Uh, Mona Rogers, who is killing it on this show tonight, running this prompter right now. And also Chrissy Hafner, who is working the Trumpet Awards down in Atlanta tonight. So just thank you guys. They have just an amazing work ethic and uh, just make going to work fun. And I'm just so thankful for them. Secondly, I want to say that our life is a direct result of the dedication and the faith that we have both been um, the recipient of, I guess. And um, back there at table 38, <laughs> I want to share this award. We both want to share this award with our parents. My mom, Ray and Joyce Eller, who celebrated 50 years of marriage this year. And Mike's mom and dad, who celebrated 55 years of marriage. Without them, we, our lives would be completely different, and we, we thank them for that. And finally, the great love of my life and my best friend. When you get the chance to publicly thank somebody, and you only have a couple of seconds, it's tough, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, when I think of Mike and his career in television, I think of a saying. I heard this last year, and it has really resonated with me. Do hard things, and life will be easy. Do easy things and life will be hard. This man is the example of that. 
he gets up every day and he does hard things. He's not afraid to do what other people are afraid to do. He does it every day. He's a phenomenal example to me, to our two, two kids, Shane and Sailor, who we brought up here with us. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Um, he's changed my life. And I am thankful to have gotten to play a supporting role in his career all, over all these years. We love you very much. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm not sure what to say after that. Thanks, babe. Um, I'm a lucky man, I'll tell you that. I will say, you know, I've learned over the years that um, I don't think you can have any kind of success without a great team behind you. When I'm on the road doing all these shows in Hollywood and other places, you know, Kelly is here, and she not only runs her company, but she runs her household, and she does both jobs great, and for that, I'm grateful. Um, I could thank so many people tonight, but I just have to thank my ProGiv team. They give 110% every time they go out. Tim Smith, Brandon Tate, Sam Roberts, Mark Wells, and Brett Skelton, who is shooting Jib here tonight. Great job, Brett. It's been so fun to be in a business that we all love to work in. I want to thank the Academy for thinking that we were worthy enough to receive this great honor. Um, I want to thank my mom and dad, Mac and Sherry Brees, for teaching me how to work hard to get what you want and just supporting me all these years. I want to thank my kids, Shane and Sailor, for giving me a reason to get out of bed in the morning to try to be a better person. And last but certainly not least, I wanna thank God for any little talent that I might have. Thank you.